on this most wonderful day, which is the greatest fortune for the whole world. It is my hope that I can please you with two small stories. The first one is actually a story about Radha and Krishna that I recently heard. Um, it was a pastime where Srimati Radharani, she was out picking flowers for Krishna. And she came to a tree and uh, there was one branch, it was blossoming so much, richly with fragrant flowers. But it was a little too high for her to reach. So she was like trying to jump and trying to reach that. But in the tree, Krishna was sitting there. And he took his lotus feet and he pressed that branch a little down and then she could get a firm grip of it with the intention to pick the flowers from there. But suddenly Krishna let his foot off and Sri Mathirvadarani was flow up, not in the sky, but in the embrace of Krishna. So that uh, second story is that I want to share with you what happened to me once on returning from Mayapur a few years ago. I had spent some time in Kerala and I was to change the flight from the domestic to international in Mumbai airport. Oh, that took a lot of time going by bus. But well, in the waiting hall I found a seat in a corner I took the wonderful South Indian cuisine prasadam that my lovely god sisters in Trivandrum so neatly had back for me. And then I fed myself for the five, six hours which was left before my departure. I felt very good. All tired, but ah, now I can chant undisturbed. No one or nothing to give attention to but the holy name. The simply chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and be happy. So I walked the waiting hall up and down, and up and down, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. It was so nice because of your mercy, because you have given me this. After a few hours, I found. It would be a good idea to look for my flight at the screen. So I looked and I looked and my flight was not to be found there. So upon my request at the service counter, the lady looked at me and said, but, but they are just now embarking. <laughs> I, I said, I feel a bit dizzy now actually. And then suddenly an airport servant appeared with a wheelchair and he said, please sit down. And then there was a fast drive passing by a lot of people at counters and checkpoints for tickets and passport and all these things. And suddenly the wheelchair stopped in front of a double door. And then I saw the most handsome man I ever seen. He was tall and broad shoulders, long arms, it was super paka, like a pilot with uniform and that special cap they are wearing. He was so proper, so polite, and so gentle. He leaned slightly towards me with a very special smile that showed his film star teeth. And he asked me, do you know Shina Prabhupada? Immediately I answered, yes, he is my grandfather. And at that moment, the double door opened and the wheelchair moved forward to the visitation and further to the aircraft. Well, there I noticed that I was almost the first one entering. <laughs> yes, we never know what happens next. But by simply faithfully following you and serve you, that opens all the right doors. That's all. Thank you, Sila Prabhupada, for everything that you have given, that you are giving, that you will give. All glories, all glories, all glories to you, 
Tu le pas qui? Yeah.